Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Hello, fabulous superstar Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2021. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month without a doubt. Now, it does start with some really great news because on the 6th of the month, we are going to have this month's new moon. This new moon is taking place in a financial part of your sky. This is a part of the sky that has to do with money you earn and money that you spend. But self-esteem, self-worth is also covered here. The great news is that this part of the sky and this new moon is lit up right about now. We've got a supremely harmonious connection to Uranus taking place to this new moon. And I think this is going to be surprise new opportunities. Now, these opportunities or insights or ideas may be connected to finances and prosperity and abundance. Where it is that you're hoping for new financial prospects, well, this energy can help you in that regard. Sometimes what can happen with this is the opportunity to go for and to get a raise. But also with this energy, it may be you that has really great ideas at this time and you feel excited about implementing them and they hold the seeds for greater prosperity. In some cases, the rewards will be instant. In others, you may have to pace yourself a little bit, but the rewards will be there. And so this is wonderful energy for experiencing a boost when it comes to your finances. Now, I do want to add, because this part of the sky has to do with spending, you may get the opportunity to purchase something meaningful to you or valuable to you, and the opportunity may come up very much by surprise. I just want you to be a little bit mindful because it is going to be the following day that Mercury will enter shadow, and it will be late in the month that Mercury will go retrograde. And so it's a good idea to use the energies right at the new moon to be open to if it is that the universe has something for you to acquire. It could even just be a gift of some kind, or it may be a purchase, and yet may feel like a fortunate thing that you have acquired. Because this part of the sky connects to self-esteem and self-worth, well, you may attract a series of events that serve as a boost in that regard as well, that help you to feel more connected to self-love and self-esteem, or perhaps to release and let go of the things or a thing that has felt like a hindrance towards you and a more loving sense of self, directed towards self. And when you are rooted in healthy self-love, well, the whole world can feel that much more open and it can feel that much more easier to understand that prosperity and abundance, well, it is an energy. And where it is that you're connected to self-love, you are abundant in and of itself. Now, as we navigate later into the month, we are going to have a full moon. This full moon is going to take place on the 20th of the month. And it is also in a financial part of the sky, but a little bit different as this part of the sky has to do with your relationship to financial institutions. Now, I would also add this part of the sky can speak to profound and meaningful change, profound and meaningful transformation. This is full moon energy here. So it has to do with completion and culmination. And I do think that some Leos out there may find that this is a time when they're able to pay off a debt of some kind or payments towards something finally come to a close or come to an end in some way. It can feel especially hopeful and especially inspired to move in a direction that feels as if you're connecting to meaningful wealth, wealth of your own choosing. Now, of course, this can be financial, but this could be spiritual wealth and emotional wealth as well, knowing that you are well provided for in all kinds of ways by a generous universe. This may also be a time when you are feeling very connected to the spirit of transformation, the spirit of change. This full moon will be happening close in the sky to Neptune. So there's that element there of feeling connected to something greater than yourself, a divine inspiration, if you will, a greater sense of meaning. And then we have Pluto speaking in harmony with this full moon. So there is also a sense of some connection to intensity and conviction at this time. 
Now, regardless of how this energy does come together for you, it does look like you are feeling deeply connected to a spirit of change and wealth. And that is something that also you can connect with in all kinds of ways and in all kinds of levels, not just financial, but emotional and spiritual as well. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is going to be about 10 days into the month that Venus will change signs. And Venus is going to move into the foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky, having to do with home, having to do with family of origin, your parents in particular. And it also connects you to your past. And so just on one level, this can make beyond just love, right? When we look at familial love, this can make familial love, love for your family, enjoying their company that much easier. It can make home an especially enjoyable place and a loving place at that. But in the context of romantic love, for those of you open to meeting someone new, love and the past will be intimately connected under the sky. This is energy that you're going to have right into the first days of next month as well. So you've got three weeks this month of this energy. And what this suggests is that you are feeling either nostalgic, wanting to reconnect with the past, but the opportunities to connect may come up very much by surprise, perhaps even shock, I would say, under this transit. Now, ultimately, this is about helping you to see the past differently than you did before and deciding your future from here. For those of you just starting to date somebody, I feel like this is going to be a desire to get to know this person more privately, spend more time alone with this person as well to see if there is that deeper level of comfort and compatibility. But again, you may end up reconnecting with someone from your past or hearing about something or someone from your past that ends up influencing the current situation. For those of you in an established bond, I love this energy for you because it really is about being more comfortable with each other on a soul level. And yes, closing the door, having a sense of some isolation, or at least creating a sanctuary for the two of you. Chances are the two of you are going to want more alone time, enjoying each other's company, because under this energy, home is where the heart is. What I love about this week for you, well, look, there's a lot here. It's a powerful, and meaningful astrological time. And it is one of those moments that can feel that it aligns you with a greater sense of prosperity in all kinds of ways, emotionally, spiritually, and yes, financially as well. Now, whether it is a brilliant idea or a stroke of luck, or whether it is that a particular debt feels like it's finally paid, you are certainly aligning with greater wealth, greater wisdom, and happiness than you've known before. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every single week for every single sign for as low as just $3 a month with choose your membership rate at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. At NadiaShawSuperstars.com, you get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month. Higher tiers get you things like all access passes to future Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.